Oh my god, introduce me, I look good. Um, right, well, we're gonna restart then. Okay. Hi! I'm here to film a Q&A with my friend, Dahlia. She's gonna be asking me the questions and I'm gonna be answering them. So without further ado, let's go. What do you think about drugs excluding weed? I don't have a problem with people doing drugs. You do whatever you want to do. You just have to accept that you're playing a bit of a game of Russian roulette with yourself and that you don't know what's in, what you're taking. So it could kill you, being realistic. But if you're willing to take that risk because at the end of the day, life is full of risks, then by all means, live your life the way you wanna live your life. What movie can you watch hundreds of times and not get sick of? The movie I can watch hundreds of times and not get sick of is Hercules. I mean, any Disney film really, but Hercules is my number one because every time I watch it, there's just something new that I haven't noticed and I love it. It's got such good music in it. Favourite way to relax or treat yourself? Probably colouring, watching TV, drawing, things where I can put my whole mind into something because then I can actually distract myself from the outside. Tips to get over a toxic ex. I mean, the, the biggest thing I think is time. It does just take time to get over any ex, let alone a toxic one, but you also have to remind yourself that if it was a toxic relationship, at the end of the day, you're better off out of it. And that, that can help you get over the whole thing because you can realize that actually you're the better version of you now. And that can make you want to be without that person, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Okay. What is the biggest challenge you face coming home? But the biggest challenge I face coming home is probably the fact that it's just so different from uni independence wise. At home, I live with my family and my parents and uh, you know, it's the kind of thing of telling people where you're going, whereas at uni, you don't really do that. But I like both ways. Do you prefer to give or receive? I'm not answering that question. What eyeliner do you use? So I use a variety of eyeliners. I use MAC long last eyeliner which is my eyeliner that does not move like it's impossible to get off so you can sleep in it and stuff but i also use urban decay's glide on pencil which is very good and i use yves saint laurent eyeliner which is also very good my thing is it's got to be black and it's got to stay what's your favorite thing about pat my favorite thing about pat is the fact that i know in however many years time i'm still going to be able to sit with them in the same way i do we're still going to be able to go over to each other's houses and just be the same. They're always gonna be my friends. And I know one day in the group chat, it's not gonna be a message saying, by the way guys, I've got a boyfriend, it's gonna be a picture of an engagement ring or a bump or something, and it's gonna be really fun. Ever got in a fight? Not like a proper fight. I once punched one of my friends in the face when I was like seven or eight, but I don't think I've ever got in a proper physical fight. Have you ever suffered from depersonalization or derealization when you were feeling spaced out or drunk, like the world is closing in? I've never had that extremely. I have had the feeling of almost not being inside my body, which usually comes when I'm in a very dark place. And the way I usually tend to get out of it is by surrounding myself with human life, with real life, because that brings me back to reality in a way. Why are you? Thank you to the friend that asked me, why are you? Really good question. How do you learn to move on from the past if it still really hurts you? The thing with moving on from the past is you can never really forget. So moving on isn't so much forgetting, it's accepting that that was just something that happened. And the way you have to look at life is as lessons. So things that hurt, you just have to take them as lessons for how to build yourself into the person you want to be and the better version of yourself. Mm -hmm. Who's the absolute coolest and funniest person, you know, whose name begins with an A and ends in an X? It's this girl called Alex that went to my school. Best advice for getting out of a rut and getting over a heartbreak? For getting out of a rut, I would say just try something different. Push the boat out, try something you wouldn't normally do because it just takes one little step to actually change your life a little bit. And with getting over heartbreak, again, it's just time, but it's also a sort of learning how to love yourself. Because as RuPaul says, if you can't love yourself, how the hell are you going to love someone else? So that's what you've got to learn to do first. And often heartbreak is worse when you don't know how to love yourself in quite the right way. What's this for? Thank you for my brother for asking that. This is for a Q&A, which I hope you're watching. If not, you're a really bad brother who doesn't support his sister. Interested in bull busting? We're looking for girls to work for us. No, thank you, British ball busting. Please, can you stop sending me these messages? What do all your tattoos mean? So, let's talk through my tattoos. Okay, so that's, that's where the I wrong have... arm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first one I got is my semicolon, 
which um, I got when I turned 18. I got it on my 18th birthday and I'd wanted it since I was about 14. And uh, I got that for mental health. If you haven't heard of it, I'll leave a link below in the description box to the Semicolon Project and you can check that out. My second tattoo was this one. It's kind of hard to show. And it says, Awe Akwe Wale, which means hail and farewell. And it's from Catullus's poem that he wrote for his brother's funeral. And it's the last line of the poem. And I got it because I was studying the poem around the time when my grandma died. And it just really hit home for me. And then I got it when I left school as a way of saying goodbye to school. Then my next one was this one, my pineapple. This I got for my best friend Clara because ever since we were like 12 or something, we've always had a thing about pineapples, called them pinapples. Then this is each of my family members' initials written in their handwriting. So it's a G, J, B, O, H, and then a heart. And then this is it's really hard to show. <laughs> 66, which is Stitch's experiment number from Lilo and Stitch, and I love Lilo and Stitch. I have loved it for so long. It's the message behind the whole film is just pretty incredible about family and the importance of like accepting everyone. It's just a good message, really. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Mm. I don't know where I see myself in 10 years. That's a really good answer to the question, isn't it? Yeah. So, thank you for watching. Thank you to my great, 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 my great, great, my great question master. I will catch you guys in my next video. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you got the answers to all the questions you wanted. Bye. <laughs>